It's great. Okay, uh, hello everybody and welcome to this Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach Meeting. So good to have you, Mark, Marky, and oh, welcome Summit. So um, I think we can start with maybe looking back at any actions uh, we have and let me see if I can share the agenda. I will share my screen here. So if folks do have specific um, agenda items which you'd like to discuss, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, Alyssa has gone ahead and put one item in there, but I'm not sure she's able to attend. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and look at past actions. So first of all, any um, pressing issues people would like to use this time to discuss or focus on? I don't have a pressing issue. I do have an update uh, on two items. Uh, they can go at the end or I can do them now, whichever. What are the topics? Uh, the first topic is in regards to the uh, documentation for describing the voucher use and distribution. I have mm -hmm. not completed that. That is on my list to do. Okay. That's... Work has just drowned me a little bit this week. And okay. secondly, there is a CDF ambassador update mm -hmm. that I thought I'd just update the team about. Oh, actually, I have stuff on CDF Ambassador too. So let's put that as a big topic. And I've noted, um, sorry, I'm writing this. Okay, so that action is still to do. Um, so Jackie, create a tracking sheet. I think that one was done. Yes, that is done. And then this one is still a to do. That's fine. Uh, the Zoom accounts, I'll put a note that I have done some. It's kind of a done in a to do, let's say, ongoing. Uh, Tracy highlighted Zoom problem. Still working with CDF to get solution. And we'll say mark to provide stopgap meeting which only works until mark can attend a meeting i guess so mark will always be there right <laughs> uh i'm just looking for other to do's and gsoc i believe the jenkins x gsoc this action here was resolved This this item here, Marky, was that done? Update status of Jenkins X projects, or is that still a to do? Nope, that's that's completed. Great. Okay. Let's copy that. And yeah, I understand there was a discussion last Friday and things are resolved and it's all very positive. And actually we've got a, a bunch of people stepping forward to be support mentors, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for to-dos, certainly the ones I could pick out easily. Okay, so let's go on to the topic of CDF ambassadors. And Marky, why don't you um, up, do your update and then I'll go ahead and share what I know. Yes, uh, so I would like to let everybody know that I have officially become an ambassador. Ta -da! Yay! And I believe if we go to CD Foundation, we have, I think I've seen you. Yep. Ta -da! And I am there. I believe there will be a blog post coming out. Uh, I know the CDF uh, media marketing team is working on that. Mm -hmm. I've already sent them a draft. And uh, yeah, now, congratulations. And I think I, for one, I'll say that I think you will be an amazing ambassador for the Jenkins project and for CDF. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Very lucky that. to have you. There will also be a on April 17th, there will be the first 
uh, as an ambassador, one of the things you do is meetups, and we will be doing a meetup on April 17th where I will be presenting Jenkins on Kubernetes. Oh, sorry. So April 17th, you're doing a Jenkins on Kubernetes meetup. Perfect. So just going back to the ambassador program, um, I believe there was also a review of the CDF program. We, uh, Jackie invited a number of project folks from Spinnaker and Screwdriver and Jenkins um, and other projects to just review uh, the outline for the ambassador program. Uh, one of the things that will come out of that is uh, we'll have a GitHub repository set up similar to CNCF, which will outline um, the, the process for ambassadors, you know, how often they do them, how, which people they're looking for, all the kind of nitty gritty process around that. Um, just writing some notes. And the other thing we talked about was um, making sure that this ambassador program run by CDF is becomes the successor to the Jenkins ambassador pro program. And specifically, um, we sort of said, you know, if any project from the CDF ambassadors, from the whole pool, if there's a subgroup of those people who we consider experts in Jenkins, um, then that list of people would go to the Jenkins board. They would give a thumbs up and then sort of anoint them with the, the Jenkins status as such. And then they would have special benefits perhaps in the Jenkins community which would be being invited to specific meetings or when we go back to having events, trying to get them passes or discounts or whatever in inviting them as speakers. So it would just be like an extra level. And then similarly, you could do the same for Tecton or you could do the same for Spinnaker. You know, they'd invite you to their meetings and they just get you more and more involved and give you special status in those communities. So I think the next action there is to get um, that list from CDF uh, to the Jenkins board and just have them officially sort of say, this is good and then just communicate to the Jenkins community. Hey, remember that ambassador program? This is now the set of Jenkins ambassadors and maybe we could do um, some publicity around that, some blog posts or um, yeah, some tweets. So what do folks think about um, any communication we need to do on that front? I definitely think we should have a blog post that uh, maybe it doesn't have to be a full blog post, but something that links to the CDF's announcement mm -hmm. for the ambassadors. And then we could have sort of the same tweet campaign doing the same thing. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that sounds good. So let's leave this as an ongoing topic for these meetings. Um, let's say the next step is I'm working with Jackie and the project outreach at CDF to get some of the, the, the repos and some more things set up. And then maybe in a couple of weeks, there should be enough sort of public links and things that we can then put together that blog post and just talk about how this is gonna be the, the new program. Excellent. Great. Okay, anything else on ambassadors from anybody? I did have one actual thing for, for the ambassadors in, when you had said it during our last meeting, Tracy, something about uh, a May uh, ML ops mm -hmm. sort of communication, that would yep. be good to sort of come from the ambassadors if you have any more information about that, just let um, me know or. Yeah, so I can show you what's there now. Uh, so there's a repo. And it is, at the moment, we're still focused on the newsletter. I don't think we've broken that out into more things, so that's still the intention. But the newsletter page here captures um, the, the topics. So actually this month, we, we bumped the names of the month, so this month, in April, we're collecting interoperability. That will effectively be the May topic. And then during May, we're collecting people who can speak or write about MLOps. So that gets published at the end of May and that will be the June topic as such. 
Beautiful. I will uh, start getting working on that if you'd like me to take that up. Yes, I would very much so. So if you like a very beginning thing, um, propose a talk uh, on something Emma Lopes and Jenkins. Uh, and then we can start also pulling, deciding, um, I think Jackie's trying to pull together a webinar or a crowd chat, which would be a set of experts or kind of people who could lead a, sorry, not experts, actually the opposite of experts, but knowledgeable folks who could lead a discussion and engage people to, to do some peer to peer sharing. Got it. Okay. So let's see monthly CDF themes. Uh, Okay, to drive MLOps topics. Propose up or down to propose a talk and and then Tracy. Okay, sorry, I cannot talk and type at the same time. Okay, any thoughts, questions on that? Summit, does it all sound good to you? Please feel free to speak up if you wanna ask anything, no question too small. Oh, I'm not good. <laughs> Great, and thanks for coming Tim. Okay, so this one, I know Alyssa put it in, but she could not make it to the meeting. So Jenkins comic strip, she asked for a general, um, was it feedback to initial ideas? So I don't know if folks have had a chance to look at this. Maybe we could do so quickly now. And if you have any thoughts, I can get those back to Alyssa. Is anyone a fan of the Mandalorian? Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> Particularly your one. Okay, so number one was that you can deploy often. I don't feel qualified to to comment how on point these are. I w I have not had a chance to look at this. Uh, okay, let's put an action for all to. Yeah. Action item: all to review and post feedback comments in the doc. And I'll also I'll ask for feedback in Gita. Um, and then I think uh, this comic strip idea, Alyssa was kind of open to where we could put it on Jenkins IO. That would make sense. Is that go under artwork? Does it go under blog? Do we just have it in tweets? So if anyone has any thoughts, uh, just please let me know now. Okay. Right, let's move on to the Jenkins roadmap. Uh, Mark, do you want to go ahead and take this? Sure, yeah, it was just to say that Oleg has done a brilliant job of, this is me being a poor approximation for Oleg's summary. He's done a brilliant job of collecting and presenting uh, roadmap ideas here in this draft of the roadmap on Jenkins.io. It's reachable through the governance and structure link at the bottom of the page. One of the pages from the, that page is the uh, roadmap. So you pick structure and governance in the, the, in the, under the project column at the very bottom there, structure and governance. It's not yet on the Jumbotron. I think we'd want some more time to refine and evolve it before we highlight that it's to a much broader audience right now. It's just a very, very good working working prototype showing evolution and thought processes. You got lots of people contributing in many different ways. Right. And ultimately the contribution from this SIG falls under this category. Is that right? So all the events. So contribute to guidelines, refresh, Google sum of code, which is ongoing. So that falls in the current. And then near term, Google season of docs, community bridge, and later Hacktoberfest, which sounds like a fine list of, yeah. 
I will say, I think, um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of communities doing uh, lots of figuring out virtual strategies, virtual events, and different things we can do there. And one of the things I'll mention, um, again, CDF is looking to drive, will be helping all our meetup communities uh, pivot to having virtual events. So both giving them the knowledge of, you know, how would you use it? What are the pros and cons of each platform? And then building on that saying, can we offer them platforms to use for free? So maybe people don't have to pay for them. Can we figure out the Zoom thing, make that more accessible? Or even platforms like Crowdcast, uh, can we share them in some way? And, you know, just try and help with the heavy lifting so folks can focus on the content and focus on the people. Um, so we might see some more from CDF, I think, either a webinar about it or a general meetup with meetup organizers to do a, a joint brainstorm and possibly get some folks who are really doing this in a very top-notch way to come along and help like with advanced streaming stuff um and i'm hearing like we're getting into gamer level uh goodness stuff that we could potentially do that could be pretty exciting but yeah i went along i think the cloud native had a, a recent virtual event and they had some pretty slick things happening there so I yeah that. they just did it the day before yesterday and it was for pivoting from an in-person event they did a bang up job great do you know what platform they were using was it zoom it was Zoom, and they used breakout rooms and, and mm. all kinds of things. The Contributor Summit is going to be like that. Yeah, that's cool. I'm actually running a, a social event uh, tomorrow where I'm going to use breakout rooms, and, and that's going to be fun. So I'm going to have a, a lounge breakout room, a dining room, a kitchen, and we're going to put people into chat and stuff. So I'll, I'll, that will be a good experience to see how it goes. Um, yeah, so any, anything, I think, um, I don't know if we'll put that into the roadmap, but yeah, just reminded me of that. Any questions, comments on the roadmap? Perfect. And next agenda item is LinkedIn experiment. Uh, Mark, this one's, take it away. So Oleg reactivated the Jenkins or gained control of the Jenkins LinkedIn account. And as part of that, we decided, hey, let's try an experiment. So I wrote an article uh, on LinkedIn, haven't written one of those, I think, in a very long time. And it was inviting people to come help mentor with the Git plugin in Google Summer of Code. The, the article had 87 views, not a huge volume, but some views and lots of interesting traction on Twitter, uh, thanks to Oleg's having shared it on LinkedIn. So did I get what I ultimately wanted? No, unfortunately, I haven't yet gotten the extra mentors that I was looking for. But I did raise the awareness of many of my contacts that yes, I'm actively involved in the Jenkins project and yes, they could help too. Great, yeah, no, I think it might be a, a, a slow burn on that one, but uh, it's good to hear that there is some engagement even if not quite spot on for what you needed. Right. Okay, um, so that reminds me, I'm gonna add another item here, which is, we talked about the Twitter calendar. I think we had a bit of this in the um, mailing list. So I had this doc um, and I didn't know if we did wanna update it to use it as a way to schedule schedule tweets and in until we get our full kind of docs as tweets, um, but a way to be aware of what other people are scheduling, avoid overlap. But when I had originally planned it, um, I think I had this idea that, you know, in a build up to an event or for big news, you might want the tweets to go out three or four times across a couple of months. So I would just copy it and I'd paste it across different dates and say here, 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 and here, we're gonna have that. And then just to make sure other people weren't doing the same thing, I thought that was a way to avoid clashing. So what do folks think? Do we want to use this? Is it too heavyweight? Should we no. just, yeah. I think I'm a, I'm a strong plus one for this format. Okay. Uh, any thoughts from anyone else? Mark, so? so, so my problem is I'm, I'm really fine. I'm fine at seeing this, but really terrible at actually actively using and implementing it. It will do me no harm, but I tend rather to 
periodically just go in and and retweet something from the Jenkins account that I think makes sense yeah. or after a discussion. So so this looks great to me. Unfortunately, my past behavior shows while it looks great, I probably won't do a lot with it. And yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't expect people, if you're just retweeting really good tweets, I wouldn't expect you to necessarily put them in, but I think this is more, hey, I've got this plan, I wanna uh, promote this specific thing. Like, let's say we throw in the roadmap, like how many times we could talk about the roadmap uh, repeatedly. Um, so maybe we think once and we schedule it. Well, and, and the Jenkins and Kubernetes upcoming webinar that Marky mm. had mentioned is a really good fit for something like that, where every three or four days or or with compressed where four or five days, then two days, then one day before actively promote it systematically. Yeah, that's, I think that's a good use for this. I don't yes. think we should change our habits in, in, in what, uh, what I think you're saying, Mark, and please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think we should change our habits in the sense of if we know there's good content or, uh, you know, if, if Mark, you tweet something out that you know is good and you want it to be retweeted from the Jenkins account, I don't think we need to schedule things like that. I think those are definitely good to keep going and I don't think we've had any problems. So it's not broken. I don't think we need to fix it. Uh, I do like the idea of using this for very uh, detailed things, such as the meetup that's coming up and, and the ones that we will be having. But yeah, I think this is good for very large announcements. Um, yeah, so I agree. And I think that's a nice way to use it. So how about, can I just do a fill on this? One second. Um, I'm going to create this one for the next three months. Uh, I encourage folks to go in and put tweets in, but what we could do also is every advocacy and outreach SIG, we could do a quick review of it and we could say, Hey, all these cool things, let's schedule in tweets. And then, so if we are all looking at it, um, at these meetings, then maybe that's just a nice way to get some eyes on it and make sure we're not clashing or we're not kind of just doing anything we shouldn't be with respect to each other. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay, so let's just fill this out all the way through to end of June, which is somewhere around here. So yeah, if anyone wants to go put in tweets and then duplicate them, and then you can say whether they've been posted or scheduled, um, please go ahead and do that. And I might do a few on the roadmap. Yeah, and in the spirit of continuous improvement, let's see how it goes and if it's working for us or if it inspires us to come up with a better solution. Yeah, I will add the, the upcoming uh, meetups. Yeah, anyone with the link can add it, so that's great. And I think, yeah, this had a nice, we could say what kind of thing it is, so give us a bit of a picture of what, what we're pushing out. Okay, that is good. So anything else, anyone? Nothing from me. Yep, I've got nothing. I think that's been more than enough for today. So that's been pretty good. Okay, so let's leave it at that. The next meeting uh, should be in a couple of weeks. So, awesome, thanks awesome. everybody. I'll see you all online. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye-bye.